Hey guys, what is up? It is Nohel, and welcome back to another video. Today, if you guys like the video, make sure to smash the like button and maybe even consider subscribing for more. Today, I'm going to be bringing a brand new updated top 20 favorite room light plugins that I use every single day. Now, it's not going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to go off one by one. So we're going to start this one off with 117HD. Now, this one fully changes the entire game, the way the game looks anyway. So right now I have the regular GPU plugin on, which most people use, and we're gonna go ahead and switch it over. Might load a little bit there, but as you can see, the graphics just look so much better, more enhanced, and it just overall makes it feel a lot better to play the game. Now I know it's not for everyone, but I'm gonna quickly go ahead and show you guys my settings, cause a lot of people all the time say your um, 117 HD looks beautiful. How do you make it look this way? So I'm gonna quickly show you that. Okay, so here's my settings for 117 HD. I'll go quickly look at that right here. So we have the draw distance at 88. This is time 16, it's at the max. Um, you guys can just go ahead and quickly copy these settings. I think the best thing is the lighting makes a big change as well as the environment as well. And uh, right now I also have the, what's it called, the winter theme enabled. So it might make it look a little bit better there as well. But yeah, beautiful plugin. One of my favorites for sure. The next plugin is called NPC Aggression Timers. Now, as you can see, there's these big squares around my game and I have this plugin turned on all the time so it doesn't really look the nicest all the time but pretty much what it does it allows you to afk at creatures a lot better. I'm gonna head to one of my favorite creatures gargoyles and show you this in action. Okay so you get on your slayer task and you want to go ahead and afk it right so I start attacking this gargoyle right and now in this square right here they will be aggressive to me so I can fully AFK. And as you can see, there's a timer at the top here that says nine minutes and 43 seconds. I can literally sit here and fully AFK, right? Now, before you'd usually walk down the stairs and then come back up and wait for them to be aggressive again, right? But you actually just have to move one tile over and it resets fully. And now you have this massive square that you can AFK from, right? And once this timer, you know, gets to two minutes, one minute or whatever, you can just walk out of the square instead of walking all the way back down and it resets again and now you have a new square where they're going to be aggressive to you so you don't have to like click and it's so good for afking i've made 50 60 million gp at gargoyles on my alt account just from this plugin it just makes it so much more enjoyable so much easier to do and a lot more afk now the next plugin is a very simple plugin but can be extremely useful in certain scenarios when you're trying to learn something or you just want to remember where you were standing you know maybe you find a safe spot to kill somewhere at all it's called ground markers and all you have to do is right click the ground while holding shift and then you can click mark tile now this tile will always be marked there forever now and if you want to unmark it you just right click it again and click unmark tile this is actually extremely useful in certain scenarios i find it really helpful for bosses like high Hydra, or even just killing simple creatures like Lizardman Shaman, you can like mark where you need to stand just so it makes it a little bit easier for you. Kind of a basic plugin, but it can be extremely useful, right, over time. And I could teleport away and come back, and these tiles would still be here, so I would know where to stand. Now the next plugin is going to be called Stretched Mode. Now a lot of people want to play the game in full screen like this, but they're so used to having it on this fixed mode right here, right? Now. Let me tell you, this is full screen right now. So basically, this is what it used to look like on fixed mode. This is how your client would work. As you can see, it's a lot smaller. But now with the stretched mode plugin, you can actually play full screen and fixed. I love playing fixed and full screen. You could probably tell as well that it might look a little bit different than the regular fixed mode just because you can see things so much better. And uh, yeah, overall, it's just probably my fa one of my favorite plugins just because I love playing the game on fixed mode, but I want a full screen, right? I want to take advantage of my monitor. Now, the next one is called Bank Tags. This one is amazing for organizing your bank and just making it a little bit more efficient. So if you go into your bank, you obviously have all of your regular tabs, right? But if you look at the side here, I have new tabs. I have one called Slayer, one called Room Crafting. I don't have too many right now, but I plan to make one for every boss in the future just to make it easier when I you know, want to gear up and go to the boss. If I look at my Slayer tab right now, I haven't touched this in a while, but as you can see, there's items in here. And if I go ahead and take the Dragon Boots and we'll say the Barrels Gloves from here, if I go to where they actually are located in the bank, they're still in the bank, right? And I can 
deposit them back in here and then they're also going to show in here very very useful i have a rune crafting one as well just to make it a little bit easier for rune crafting but i'll show you guys how this is really done you go ahead and create a new tag i'll just call it lol it doesn't really matter and then you can go ahead and change the icon of it to literally whatever you want so i'll just type the inferno cape right there don't even have the inferno cape but you can make it whatever you want right and then you can drag any item that you want in there so maybe uh, i'll just put like my blowpipe or something like that in there maybe some uh, rings or whatever right and then i'll go to a brand new tab right here put some ranging potions in there right and now i have it all nice and sorted here and it will show you which tab that it's actually from very useful i love this one so much and you can also just change it to be like the boss head icons and stuff like that it just makes it so much easier for going to gear you can make one for farming, herb lore, whatever you want. Now the next one here is called Interface Styles. This one's really cool if you played back in 2005, maybe 2006, even 2010. You just kind of want your game to look a little bit different. So this is how the original game looks, right? You have the map, all the skill icons and whatever like that, right? This is exactly what everyone else has. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the Interface Styles plugin does. All right, so this is what the original runescape kind of looks like right we have uh all the skill icons looking like this this is what it looks like in 2007 right if i go ahead and turn this on right as you can see all of my skill icons look like they did in 2010 which is really cool you can change all of the years too we can have the 2005 look uh 2006 and then obviously 2010 or default you can also change like the health bar detail and just it's it's honestly a really cool plugin I personally really like the way it looked in 2010. I get this question a lot. How did you make it look like that? This is how. The next one here is called Banked Experience. Very good for Iron Man or any account if you really want to see how much resources you have in your bank that can convert into experience. All right, so inside of the plugin here at the side, you can go ahead and select any skill, right? So I'm going to go with something I know I have a lot of experience in, which is cooking, right? As you can see, it'll show me all of the resources that I have in my bank. I can even like disclude items like I can ignore my say tuna and say I only want to know my Karambon experience. I can see that I've got three or sorry, four million experience banked in just Karambons alone. Or I can go ahead and include all of the items, right? And uh, see that I have a lot more experience banked. It's, it's really a cool plugin, right? I've got 16 million cooking experience banked. I can change it to any skill like fire making, for example, all of the logs. I can see how much fire making experience I would get, prayer with all of the bones, and even like these ones, right? We can say I want to do the will the altar and save it, and then it obviously changes to a lot of experience banked, right? I have all of the heads disabled and whatever. But very useful, especially for Iron Man, to see how much experience they have banked now the next plugin here is called menu entry swapper and there is a ton of customization that you can go ahead and do with this and i can't explain it all in this video there's way too much stuff that you can do with this it's a really cool plugin but i'll quickly show you it in action something that i used a lot Raining prayer here in the wilderness is where I used it a lot. So if you want to bury bones really fast, right, you have to right click use, right click use. It just, it, it, it takes a long time to actually get this down properly. And a lot of the time you end up burying a bone. If I put menu entry swapper on, now when I right click, or I can just left click and use the bone because it swapped the bury and the use option, right? So I can just left click each bone and just make sure that I do them all extremely quickly. I, without this plugin, 99 prayer would have been so much more difficult. I would have died a lot more too because if somebody starts attacking you you can try and spam the bones as quick as you possibly can i actually thought i was getting pk'd there but it's a very useful plugin man just go through all the options and find what you like Okay, so the next one is called Entity Hider. Now, pretty much you can choose exactly what you want to hide on it. Right now, I only have to hide like other people. You can change it to literally whatever you want though. This is just very useful in scenarios where you there's a lot of people and you kind of maybe just want to be alone. Like you can take the pets off and stuff as well, right? But if you, you know, just want to be alone, right? It just hides the other players. They are still here and they're still chatting and everything. It just makes it look a lot more empty. If you're maybe in an area and you just want to see just yourself and just chill by yourself, it's going to be a great plugin as well. And sometimes it even boosts performance. All right, now time for everyone's favorite plugin, the Quest Helper. 
Now I've already completed every single quest in the game. There are still a few mini quests that I haven't done though, so I can show you guys this. It also helps you with achievement diaries as well, and it is freaking amazing. I will never watch a regular quest guide again because this plugin is just amazing, right? So if I look at like my quests, for example, go down to my quests here, I can see that some of these mini quests here, for example, will go with uh, Hope Spears Will, right? If I wanna know how to complete this, all I have to do is click this little arrow right here it will get, bring everything up on the, the side for me, tell me everything that I need to bring, and then tell me exactly where I need to start, right? So if, if I see right now there's a little arrow on my mini map, it will literally show me that, oh, to start this quest, you go here, talk to this guy, do this. It just literally runs you through everything, has a little step-by-step -step way, it tells you all the enemies you're going to need to defeat, tell you the rewards for it as well. Maybe I should do this, wow. But yeah, it's it's really crazy, and it works for every single quest, like Dragon Slayer 2, all the way up to something as simple as like sheep shear it will help you with everything and achievement diaries as well and with achievement diaries it will put them in the most efficient order for you to do literally probably the best plugin that runelight has now the next one is called time tracking if we take a look at this plugin real quick there's not too many settings for it really but it will give you another little option on the side here at the little mini bar so i'm going to go into the actual plugin right here and basically this is what the time tracking plugin does pretty much essential for farming in my personal opinion every single thing that you would grow in the game and in birdhouses as well it will tell you when they're done you can even set it up for getting alerts for when they're done and stuff it's really good and even just if you haven't done a herb run in a long time you might even forget where all the patches are right so i all my herbs are done it will tell you the type of them if you just planted something now it will tell you as well like how long they're going to take in order to get them honestly for farming this is an amazing plugin right i can see that uh one of my fossil island trees in the middle died it's cr it's crazy it literally tracks everything for you birdhouse runs farming it's just so awesome if you go to this at the start here it will show you like every category i can click the special patches immediately be into there as well when i was doing farming every day this was probably my best friend because i would forget where half the shit is and then i'm like oh varrock there's another tree patch there you know what i mean now the next one is called Rune Wiki, and this is one of my favorite plugins, especially for a new account. I found this out playing the leagues actually. Let me go ahead and show you guys what this does. Once you install the plugin, there will be this like little thing and you just type in your username and you can switch whatever account you have. So this is like my Iron Man, right? And then you just click look up and it will check it and you can do anything, a quest, uh, achievement diary, whatever, right? So if I wanna make sure I have the requirements for the easy arty diary, I've already completed that obviously it will say that i need five thieving right i go down it will show you like i they're all green because i completed all the tasks but they're, they won't be green but once you complete them they'll be green and we'll keep track of it for you it's so nice it will tell you everything that you need to do all the way up to the elite diary for everything all the quests in the game it will show you step by step what you need to have what, you know like if i didn't have a rusty sword this wouldn't be green it's just such a cool plugin and i think a lot more people need to know about it because it's super helpful now the next one here is called FPS Control, very simple plugin. When you turn it on, it will show at the top of your screen here your um, frames per second, right? Um, you can have a set target for it and whatever. It's a very, very simple plugin. It will just show you your frames up here. And if you get into a laggy area, your frames might drop or whatever. I just like it because it's so small up in the corner here, you can barely notice it. And it's just nice to know that you're running smooth. Now this one's very niche, some people might not ever use it, but it is called Detached Camera. Once you go ahead and turn this plugin on, use the W, A, uh, S, and D, and you can go ahead and move your client around so you can kind of see areas, maybe take some cool shots if you make YouTube videos or whatever kind of really niche and you can only go so far obviously um but it is it is cool to explore right and it, it's not like overpowered for pking or something like say there's somebody up in the distance over here i'm not going to see them it just kind of gives you like really cool shots that you can go ahead and take it is pretty fun but uh then to obviously get out of it you just need to turn the plugin back off and then you're good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and quickly turn this plugin back off and we're back to the regular game <laughs> 
Okay, now this next one is very simple, but a lot of people ask me this for runecrafting. It's literally just called Essence Pouch, the plugin, and it will pretty much display what, how many essence are in the pouch. That's, as, that's as simple as it is, right? So if I go ahead and fill up this pouch, I can see that there is three, and then I can go ahead and six, and then I can go ahead and nine, right? It's, it's really cool. And then if I obviously empty them out, it will show zero again. It's a very basic plugin, but super great for runecrafting, and a lot of people don't know. Yeah, it's just called Essence Pouch. Great plugin. Now this one's also kind of niche, it is called Inventory Viewer and it's exactly what it sounds like. So if I go ahead and start fletching an inventory of logs, I'm going to turn the Inventory Viewer plugin on. It, all it does is show your inventory and I can be in this screen and I can see what is in my inventory. There's few scenarios where this is very helpful when you're um, crafting molten glass very helpful when you're picking them up so you can see how many you have in your inventory and you can stay on your spell book the whole time or maybe say you're collecting white berries um or just something where you're collecting and you just want to see your inventory but you know you want to have the skills open as well kind of a cool plugin you cannot actually like use anything in your inventory because that would obviously be very overpowered but uh yeah it's it's cool that you can have this as a display and uh if you have it on like full screen it looks a lot better because with fixed it kind of is just taking up the whole screen but you can click through it obviously like i can go back into the bank right now grab myself another inventory of logs like that and you're good to go kind of a cool plugin um very helpful in certain scenarios but that's about it now this next one i feel like everyone should obviously have on it is just called loot tracker here's the settings that i have for it you can just make it show different prices or whatever it might be right if i open up the loot tracker i can see that it tracks everything and you can reset for certain things like i can get rid of my gargoyle kills there and it will always keep track of it as you can see i am extremely dry at the lizardman shaman i can see that i've killed almost eight thousand of them and it tracks every drop even if you don't pick it up it will track the drops as you can see this is a little bit from high that I did as well and if you want to like delete it you can just like go ahead and reset it or at the top you could reset all but I'm obviously not going to be doing that because I want to see how many lizardman shaman I do go dry just cool like you can see over time with slayer how much money you can make you can do slayer for a month have your loot tracker open and see wow I made a hundred million it's just kind of a cool plugin everyone should have this one on this is another one that a lot of people ask me about all the time. It is called Item Identifier. As you can see right now on my Snapdragon seed, it will have a little S. If I go up to my Harlander, it will have a little H on it. It's not the most useful thing ever. It just honestly makes, uh, like when you're doing Slayer or whatever, it just makes it a little bit more easy to organize your items. And you can do this with a lot. So this is what the plugin looks like inside right now. And you can say, turn it on for whatever you want. I just have it on for herbs, right? But if you want, you can put it on for literally everything. So I'll go with logs, I'll put it on. I'll do gems, I'll do bars. That's good for now, just for the example. And maybe I'll put potions on as well. And uh, as you can see, if I go back to my bank, now my potions will have like, you know, super attack on it, Ceridome and Brew on it, whatever that might be. If I go into here, I can see all of my my dragon stones are they have like their little letters beside them adamant rune bars it's just a really cool plugin if you want to be more organized i think it actually looks a bit more cluttered in the bank that's why i only have it on for herbs but you can choose what you want it on so that's why it's really cool i think it just looks good on the herbs personally but you choose whatever you want Ground items is another plugin everyone should be using. Even if you're not super into combat, it's still very helpful, right? So ba basically, these are the settings that I have for my ground plugins. You can kind of like look at them and see, change whatever you might want in here. But this is where it gets really cool, right? So you can have highlighted items right here that you want to show. Now, this is when I was playing the leagues, the prayer potions that dropped from the monkeys. You can make them have like a cool loop beam. So whenever an item that you are looking for, for example will be on the ground it will have this nice little loot beam on it and then you can add hidden items as well items that you just there's so many of them on the ground all of the time like buckets and vials if i drop this vial right here it won't even show me that it's on the ground right but uh it's really good because any item in the game i'll just take some like redwood logs or some magic logs whatever it might be and i can go ahead and drop them here it will show me that they're on the ground so when you're doing slayer and stuff you can see their drops before you even pick them up a lot of people like this obviously right all right so now for the last plugin of the video this one's kind of interesting it's just called mouse click counter and right now i have it to hide everything but if you turn it on it will track all of the clicks that you've made so i'm gonna click on i'm gonna unhide it 
And as you can see, I've done 1.7 million clicks. So it will count a right click, a left click, or a middle mouse button click. So if I just keep clicking right here, as you can see, it's going up, right? It is kind of a weird thing that you can go ahead and do if you want to see how many clicks that you've done overall. It's not like the most useful thing ever. It's just interesting to see that you obviously left click the most, you right click a lot too. For Runescape, you barely use this middle button here, but uh, it is really cool. And you can kind of change it to just see like if you want just your overall, like how many clicks you've done, you can have it at the bottom here. I just don't want it on all the time, obviously. And it's kind of scary to see that I've clicked that many times, but uh, yeah. Anyways, that is the top 20 RuneLite plugins that I use every day. Now, there's obviously a lot more, and I don't want to make this video three hours, but uh, if there is any ones that you guys really like that I missed, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I'd always love to hear more RuneLite plugins that might even be helpful to me, but uh, I hope there's a couple on this list that you guys didn't know about and you can maybe get some nice use out of. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later. Thank you.